How can people only afford fast food if fast food is more expensive than doing groceries? You're right that it is cheaper overall to buy groceries than to eat out. Whether it's fast food or not. And people who say that they can only afford fast food are generally using a kind of shorthand to describe that it's easier get fast food than go the grocery route. But it's easier for interesting reasons. Cooking requires a variety of resources. Money. To translate into ingredients and equipment. Ingredients. Equipment. Time. Both for shopping and for cooking. Skill. Including recipe knowledge. Meal planning. Knife skills. And so on. And energy. And these feed off of one another. Basic prep is going to take me longer if all I have is a paring knife instead of my trusty chef's knife. In that case, I have to exchange equipment for time. People who are living in poverty generally experience scarcity in several of these areas at once. They might know the recipes, but they don't have the right equipment. They might have what they need to make a mediocre hamburger, but they don't have the time to actually cook it. Or they might have all of that, but after a long day's work, they don't have the energy to make it. And there's one other piece. Research has shown that experiencing scarcity of any kind reduces both our executive function and cognitive capacity. We lose the ability to make decisions, plan ahead, control impulses, and so on. And poverty has that effect all by itself. So when someone doesn't have enough money for everything, is exhausted after a weird shift at a lousy job, and is hungry, they are not likely to make optimal decisions. And when life is like that all the time, there's never a moment when optimal decision making is an option. And that's hard to explain when you're in the middle of it. So it's just easier to say that fast food is all you can afford. Time may be more precious than money ITSSLF. Prep time. Cleaning dishes. Grocery shopping. After working in a stressful job. It's empathizable that some people just want to find comfort in some hot chow fast. As a salaryman in Japan. Software engineer. When I first started my career I was often dipping into fast food chains or convenience stores. Instead of cooking at home. Hi. As a RNI had a social study class that addressed this. It appears to dot be cheaper. But it's not. Fast food burger. I'm talking two dollars. Bun. Meat. Cheese. Lettuce. Tomato. Condiments. Blah. All that can be about twenty dollars dollars. I am deaf low balling. For each individual item to make that burger. People on social assistance might have 20 today and not 20 tomorrow. So maybe they can't afford all those groceries right away. Also, fast food has high calories with good protein, both of which can make you feel full and have energy for the day. So a person on assistance may not have to eat three times, can eat one or two times a day. I challenge you to cook one hamburger with all the toppings and one serving of fries for $10. Yes, you can cook six servings for less than $60. But that's actually different. If I only have $6, groceries aren't going to be a feasible purchase. Especially if my gas is turned off. Don't have pots and pans. Fridge has no power etc. But Taco Bell has bean burritos and I can use the drink dispenser to take one to go as well. Been there. It is tough to climb out of without support or family. A. Buying groceries rarely consists of buying the exact amount of ingredients. You pay extra for ingredients you don't need right now. This is often an extra expense. If you have $9 right now for supper tonight, you don't have enough to get everything you need to make a meal. But you do have enough to feed a family at a fast food place. B. Cooking at home takes more than just the ingredients. Pots. Pans. Utensils just to start. 
Then you need plates and utensils to consume. Then you need soap and sponges to clean up everything. These things all cost money. Sure, they are one-time investments, but they still cost something at some point. When you never have money, even one-time expenses suck. And don't come at me with leftover talk. That takes even more money to have Tupperware to store stuff in. C. Time. Oh dear lord the time. Prep time. Cook time. Clean up time. Time is a resource. And it's a resource that is in short supply for many. Poor people often work multiple jobs and or jobs that have odd hours. Many work jobs that wear the most in-demand hours are during meal times. Fast food. Restaurants. Big box stores. Coming home late at night or putting together a meal after school but before you go to work just isn't in the cards simply due to time. For the middle class folks that have more stable schedules, their children do not. Sports and other extracurriculars often mean people leave work and spend the next several hours running kids around to various activities. Even if they have enough time to whip up a quick meal, they don't have time to clean. Which means after a long day of work, running errands, and shuttling kids, they then take what little time they have left and use it to clean dishes. D. Cost. Just because your fast food order is expensive doesn't mean everything on the menu is. Sure a Big Mac meal is $6 bucks, but a 40-piece nugget is only $9 and that can feed a few people. Cheeseburgers can still be had at two for two dollars. If you don't do drinks and fries a few bucks can still go pretty far if you do it right. So, 40 nuggets at nine dollars. A package of chicken breasts. Three, is nine dollars. Those nuggets take no prep time. No cook time. No dishes. No cleaning. 40 nuggets in a bag from the store? Seven dollars. Yeah. You saved a couple bucks, dot but you need an oven, a baking sheet, aluminum foil, cooking spray, and 20 minutes of time just to cook them. I'll use Terry Pratchett's boot theory. A rich man can buy a nice pair of boots. Boots that will last him the rest of his life. For $100. But the poor man, who never has more than $50 at a time has to buy the cheap boots for $20. Even though the soles are made of cardboard, these boots will also give out within a month or so, prompting the poor man to shell out another $20. Over and over, whenever his boots start to go, the rich man won't have to buy another pair of boots for a while. But the poor man has to keep buying cheap boots in order to keep working, and ends up spending hundreds on replacements. Fast food is pretty cheap. While you can go to places that have expensive fast food it's generally available at a cheaper price than groceries. But the word, fast, is obviously there. If you have to work 12 hours a day to get by you don't have time to go grocery shopping once a week. And cook food every day. I tried making fried rice and orange chicken last week. Market bill was over dollar while a bowl from the Chinese restaurant close to my house is eight dollars. Theirs taste better, though it might not be healthier. I probably got 34 servings out of it. Also restaurants have the comparative advantage because they can buy in bulk and have mastered the flavors. Would it not be better if they spent more money on wholesome things like oranges and wholemeal bread or if they even like the writer of the letter to the new statesman, saved on fuel and ate their carrots raw? Yes, it would. But the point is that no ordinary human being is ever going to do such a thing. The ordinary human being would sooner starve than live on brown bread and raw carrots. And the peculiar evil is this, that the less money you have, the less inclined you feel to spend it on wholesome food. A millionaire may enjoy breakfasting off orange juice and Rivita biscuits. An unemployed man doesn't. Here the tendency of which I spoke at the end of the last chapter comes into play. When you are unemployed, which is to say when you are underfed, 
harassed, bored, and miserable. You don't want to eat dull wholesome food. You want something a little bit tasty. There is always some cheaply pleasant thing to tempt you. George Orwell, The Road to Wigan Pier Value Menus We poors can't afford those fancy combo meals open mouth smile. That's why it's cheaper. The McDonald's Rewards app saves you so much money, it's way cheaper than buying groceries. In addition to some of the great answers so far, people affected by poverty are also more likely to live in a food desert, where there are few grocery stores and the only options in the area are convenience stores and fast food. This distance can increase the time and money cost to acquire groceries just enough to put it out of reach. If you live paycheck to paycheck and gave limited food money available you want the most bang for your buck. In the past, my budget has been so tight to have only $2,025 per week left after rent and electricity for food. Two or three dollar menu fast food items give the most calories, fat, and carbs per dollar. That will fill your belly to work an 810 hour shift better than $23 of groceries. You need to have enough money to buy enough food for it to be a savings on groceries. There's also transportation costs. If the nearest grocery store is 5 miles away, you don't have a car and the bus doesn't go there. It can add up. It Roaches eat it before I can use it. In the USA there were many districts. Of course the poorer ones where you simply cannot buy groceries. But there are fast food places. So if you do not have a car, that is where you need to eat. My former housemate didn't cook. Had no interest in cooking. Only ate pre-frozen or microwavable meals. One of the things I started to notice was space. Take a sandwich for example. Pre-frozen burger, ketchup, versus loaf of bread or buns. Package of hamburger, package of cheese, ketchup, mustard, pickles or jar of relish. They spent how much on White Castle sliders? While well, I spent $3 for bread, $8 for hamburger, $5 for cheese, $2.50 ketchup, $2 mustard, $3 pickles, $23.50 so far. Yes I can make more because I had to buy in, bulk, compared to theirs. But now also I have to store and refrigerate items to cook the hamburgers I need a frying pan. I need a cook stove. A turner. Some salt or seasonings. 10 minutes? 20 minutes? Then dishes another 10 minutes. Where they need the freezer. And microwave. For less than 5 minutes. There are hidden costs to cooking from scratch and it is not always cheaper than the mass-produced fast foods. Part of the challenge now is I can go to the grocery store, take a handbasket, fill it, and have $120 worth of food in there. When I was a kid, when my parents went to the grocery store, $120 would literally fill two carts to overflowing. Two carts piled as high as they'd carry. That was $120 35 years ago. Today, I can hold $120 in my hand. Is fast food expensive? Yeah, but so is regular food now too. I seldom make a meal at home that's less than $10. The ingredients just cost too much. Any anything non-basic is typically in the $15 to $25 range for at home making. Yes, I can be selective in my meals and bring costs down. I can certainly go cheap, super cheap, but if I'm just making a regular meal, it's often in the $10 to $15 range in cost. My meals are either frozen dinners, Sonic cheeseburgers combo meals, Domino's pizza and hoagie sandwiches I make myself. I can't cook. Tied to follow a recipe once and I ended up wasting so much food and ingredients on a failed meal I couldn't eat because it tasted like a cow pie. 
If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.